Hey, this is Flight Down for TickSushi.com, giving you a look at a brand new G.I. Joe figure from the Retaliation line. This is the uh, Sneak Attack Storm Shadow. Now, he comes with one of those huge-ass play features. We'll show you that in just a sec, but it's still a pretty cool figure underneath the repaint that this figure actually is. So there you go. It comes with a zip line, which recreates a scene from the movie. You can watch the uh, uh, actual segment and the video and the trailer on our channel and get to see this epic looking scene basically where just the biggest pile of ninjas have this huge fight away up in the middle of a mountain so uh, you can recreate that scene if you want to get into that play feature it's got a bit of a zip line and a pulley and it's a bit big and cumbersome but look if you want to do that thing there you go it's up to you it's got a couple of clips and hooks that all fold away into this backpack you can see steps one through uh, four there which basically allows this thing to uh, kind of come together He's also, if you want to swap that out, got some sword storage. Uh, there's basically four epic little looking swords which uh, come together in this pack. So that's the instructions you get inside it. I got it from DorkSaveToys.com. Uh, I bought the figure loose rather than buy it in the package. And the package is not really that much to shout about, I would say. Pretty standard bubble. Um, the movie kind of slogan on the top of it. Um, so rather than buy the packaging for some of these G.I. Joes we've got a review here, I just bought some of them loose. And thankfully those guys that basically have uh, some of these figures, was the open figures, uh, percentage of them for international people like me who can save on some postage. So one of the best places that does that. So check them out. So uh, this is the big play feature in this. Don't worry, we'll get to the figure in just a second. But let's get this out of the way first of all. Uh, it's a, You can see there, this basically uh, is the kind of zip pulley. It flies up and down this line here. And that's how you affix the figure onto the back. Uh, through that peg in the back there for the backpack. Not really quite sure what these bits at the bottom do. They don't actually seem to do a great deal. So uh, you can safely put them in because they're not really doing much. This, uh, these can be manually wound up. And there's a little hook there which you can hook onto something. God knows what's going to be a drawer or something or inside a drawer. Um, and kind of play around with these things. But uh, really once they're kind of wound up uh, manually you get to put them inside this piece here. This clips on. And that goes in his back. Then you punch the button at the top and it pops open. It really doesn't kind of work. And um, let's just put that to the side quite finally. So that's the play feature. Not going to work for the older collectors, I don't think, but, uh, but there you go. It also comes with this very bizarre looking uh, piece which goes over uh, Storm Shadow's uh, hand. And really, it doesn't seem to serve any function, and we'd love to know why. Uh, so he wears this over his hand, and all this seems to do is basically. Uh, slot like a screwdriver in there but it doesn't turn and it doesn't really do anything so I'm um, not quite sure about that piece now, there's nothing on the package there's nothing by Hasbro whoops so um, what do we do with it who knows if you know leave a comment below and let us know we'd love to so some of the weapons that come in this we've seen this before this was on the this figure here which was the desert or desert battle uh, Storm Shadow we've had in the past if you look in the back there uh, that's basically the same piece that's been reused again. Unfortunately, no paint on this one. They've just uh, left it as black plastic, but it's still a very, very cool piece. And if you note that chain on this figure, we've got a review on this channel. That's also on this figure too. So you get a real pile of accessories for this guy. There we go. There's the chains we mentioned um, before, or nunchuck-like chains. But it's a full, it's a proper chain. It's not a piece of plastic. And certainly beats out when Hasbro pack that in with Star Wars figures. The tend to just put a piece of black string so uh, rather than cheap out you eventually get some decent kind of um, quality in here in the accessories so the swords are pretty cool uh, again you, they slot into the back through that uh, peg there and you can just take them out and slot them in as you want but a uh, great place to store a kick ass four swords so uh, you can also as per the desert storm figure if we uh, take one of these or two of these out you'll see on either end there's a male and female connection no, no tittering out there uh, and you basically plug them in together. They do work eventually. There you go, and you get a kind of Darth Maul like, uh, incredibly uh, uh, vicious looking blade. So uh, you can have that if you want um, Storm Shadow to use that. So let's get a look at the figure. Well, in fact, before we do one other thing that's in there, which is one machine gun. So let me just uh, give you a proper close up of that. Uh, all black plastic, no, uh, nothing to write home about, but pretty decent, still nonetheless. And that gives uh, Storm Shadow something else other than his four swords and his nunchuck-like things. So uh, 
as usual, this guy comes with a lot of weapons. And I think Hasbro uh, kind of realized that because this is an exact repaint pretty much of a figure we've seen before. I believe it was the uh, Paris Pursuit. I've never taken a note of the name, but you'll see the figure from previous versions. The previous version here is absolutely identical. So it's got this uh, cool looking white coat and it's just been repainted. So it's exactly the same figure, just with an extra waistcoat, the paint and the hood. So uh, let's get a look at this one. So let's get the hood out of the way. It's a little bit uh, over the top and doesn't quite fit. But uh, look, if you want to have it, you can have it. It's uh, pretty basic stuff. I think this is a repaint from a uh, Zartan or something from previous release. I'm not. Um, I'm getting there in Joe's. I'm not quite an expert as some of the you guys are and uh, our friend Eddie is. But uh, there you go. That's um, uh, the hood that it comes with. On this figure. They also have added this very cool, uh, I can never pronounce this, a sacrilege, uh, uh, you know what I mean. The um, Basically the clan that um, uh, Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes are from originally in the movie. So a nice little touch there on the vest, we get that uh, the red recreation of that transfer and that logo. And on the front of it he's got a, a pretty good looking um, uh, armaments of, of uh, padding and all these bits and pieces, these extra kind of uh, canisters or bullets or whatever the hell he's got in there. Not much really um, to say about it because there's nothing else to really add to it. There's no uh, extra pieces or knives to put into slots or anything, but it's still not a bad piece. Uh, on the back of it, you'll see, on the side of it, you'll see there's actually the working holster there, and that's a remnant from this figure here, the Paris figure from the first movie, um, but sadly we don't get a gun to go with it, so there's no extra gun that goes in that slot, so uh, there we go. In terms of articulation on this guy, uh, he has, pretty much the same as that figure, a ball jointed ahead, which is popping off really easily there. Uh, ball joint with a hinge on the shoulders, on the elbows, and we get uh, swivel wrists. There's no uh, double joints on those, I don't think. No, nope, tell why that is. So you get those extra it's very white on this uh, video here under these lights, but uh, let me see if I can sharpen that a little bit for you. So you can just see there the seam on that uh, wrist piece. Uh, and on the other one, you've got the seam. There we go. So you've got an extra piece of articulation on there. I'll certainly compared to Star Wars figures, pretty much, anyway. So he's got a swivel waist, and he's got swivel hips and double jointed knees. It is a little, it is a little bit uh, constricted because of the. Um, waistcoat or the, the uh, raincoat, whatever you want to call it, his jacket, and um, so it's a little bit restricted, but y you can at least uh, move things around pretty well. If you give it a little bit of a bend, uh, it gets it into a better pose. Double joint the knees, as I said, and he does have articulated ankles, so again, he can't move them all that much. God, that's really bright and white, but there you go. He is incredibly white, I should say, but, um, and that Paris one's actually gone a little bit yellow over the years, and I've kept that out of the sun, so... Uh, Sometimes Hasbro white figures don't do uh, such a great job. The paint work on this in the paint app is n it's not the best. Uh, I'm not quite sure why you would walk about in a bright white jacket with uh, then some black strips on it, but who knows, where's he going? The Arctic and into space? Anyway, so look, it's it's a still kill figure. It's uh, Storm Shadow, so I'm all over it, so uh, I like it. And uh, I think you should definitely get it. If you're into Joe's, it's pretty essential if you're into ninjas and whatnot, but um, still a good, good figure, good price, uh, got it online again with a bunch of duos, so uh, definitely check out DarkSideToys.com if you want some minty fresh stuff on card, or even loose figures, they've got it, so check them out. Now we do have some more G.I. Joe reviews coming up, so stay tuned, we've got uh, quite a few to come, so uh, check them out, see you for more reviews coming up soon.